Hello everyone, this is Kaiba. Historical figures are printed in each country's paper money. Three historical figures are printed in Korean bills. It's ironical like a comedy that I don't know why those people are great even though I am Korean. They didn't found the country. They are never war heroes. Three of them were just good at studying. It's even more like a comedy that I don't know which type of studies they were good at. Confucianism looks down on commerce and money. It worships the study. It is believed that studying is the most important ethics. Here, the studying is not for finding a good position or earning money. It's a study about basic ethics. In the past, China, Japan, and Korea became poor countries since they just studied every day. China invented the gunpowder and simply enjoyed fireworks for hundreds of years. And among these countries, Japan graduated Confucianism in advance and joined the Industrial Revolution. And China and Korea sowed Confucianism to the very end. And in the meantime, they were conquered by Japan and the West. In China, Mao Zedong weakened the Confucianism through the Cultural Revolution and made the people to follow the Communist Party instead. So there are Mao Zedong notebook and Mao Zedong quotation. In Korea, Protestant church occupied the position of Confucianism. Protestantism allows marriage and puts emphasis on labor and commerce. It established various institutions to let the people earn money and have a job, not just study. Next to the Seoul National University that I am attending, the most famous university in Korea is Yonsei University. This school was founded by an American Protestant church named Severance. So Korea attained prosperity by the help of Christianity. China and Korea were greatly influenced by Confucianism. They are aware that money is important. However, at the same time, they think that money is dirty. So where do you think they spend money on? The answer is illegal gambling. In Mexico and the United States, gangsters do the drug business. However, in China and Korea, gangsters do the private illegal gambling. They earn a lot of money. Look at the picture. Drug business has been developed in Mexico, United States, etc. But in China, Korea, etc., illegal gambling business is running well. There is almost no gangster who earned money through a drug business. There are only gangsters who made money by running illegal gambling website or secret casinos. In Hollywood, drug movie becomes a hit. But in China and Korea, gambling movie wins a success. With a Korean, it is nice to have money transaction as a business. However, don't borrow money from a person close to you. I'll explain the reason. In Korean language, money is called ton and pig is also called ton. The reason is that money and pig are both dirty. Confucianism called the learned person a nobleman despite his poverty. So, Korea has the highest enthusiasm for education in the world. Because of the Confucian culture, parents make money and spend it on their children's education. In the past, businessmen and laborers who earn money were disdained. So, Korea was poor. But now, the working people and businessmen are welcomed. However, Korea, China, and Japan, etc. are still deeply influenced by Confucianism and Korea has the strongest Confucian legacy. The four saints of the world are Confucius of Confucianism, 
Socrates of philosophy, Jesus of the Protestant Church, and Buddha of Buddhism. And some people claim that Confucius was a person of Korean descent. There are two serious swear words in Korean. Dog is a lovely and devoted animal. However, a dog baby is a serious curse since dogs don't have sexual ethics. The second most serious swear word is a commoner. In English, it means a businessman. Calling other person commoner or businessman was an insult. It's because the businessmen who sell meat, shoes, salt, etc. were considered as the people who don't study. Confucianism was abused in China by the Cultural Revolution. However, the influence of Confucianism still remains in China. However, Confucianism was never abandoned in Korea. Christianity came into the room of Confucianism. Don't borrow money from Koreans. If you borrow money from Koreans, you will be misunderstood as a person who does not know ethics. Ethics is above the law. Confucianism is a religion which observes the ethics. Rather than that, propose a business to a Korean and sell goods. Once you ask for the loans, you and the person will grow apart, will be separated. Rather than that, sell your products to a good fellow if you need money. If you do so, he will buy it at a good price. Koreans have double standard for money because of the influence of Confucianism. That is to say, Koreans regard money as important and at the same time they think that it is dirty. I repeat the conclusion again. Don't borrow money from Korean people. First, if you need money, suggest a business. Money transaction is considered impure. However, Koreans think that it is good to have business relationship. Second, if you urgently need money, sell things. Korean people will know that you need some fast cash and will buy $1 worth stuff for $5. This was Kaiva and see you in the next video.